I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Are they someone like me who's maverick? You know, I do go rogue. Swing, swing. What's your story, bastard? No, God, please, no. And here we go. It's a master show. <laughs> And welcome back to the Bastard Show. Welcome man. back, everybody. Wow, we have quite an episode for you guys today. Oh, we right? sure do. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Today. As for the pleasantries, I'm Andy. This is Tim. And I'm Chris. And, poo man. We learned some great things this week, We man. sure did. Yes, we, yes, we did. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard, after we post this video, we'll uh, post the original... From YouTube, uh, yeah. there's uh, you can have some fun with some grapefruit. Apparently, oh yeah, yeah. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, they're, they're uh, um, always inventing new uses for household, for fruits uh, and vegetables, food. and yeah. Tim, can you briefly explain to us, like, uh, what it is to use the grapefruit? Well, I don't know from personal experience, but I would like to try it. Um, anything that involves Imagining getting fucked and sucked off at the same time is amazing in my mind. I don't know about any of you guys, but uh, imagine if you would being able to have the ability to be feeling as though you're being fucked and sucked off at the same time. That'd be awesome. But with with the grapefruit, I just don't know about that. Like I just the the citric acid from the grapefruit on your dick. I mean, myself, I hate grapefruit. I hate the taste of it. I don't like juice. I won't eat the melon. Nothing. I just, I'm not 85 years old. I don't eat grapefruit. But now, apparently grapefruit is the newest phenomenon. And guess what? I want to be grapefruited. By yeah. somebody <laughs> in the bastard nation. Not a man, but a woman. Somebody grapefruit me, please. What if a man volunteers, like, and you didn't know? I would uh, have to de- deny that. Because, you know, you what, would. What if it was a woman named Amanda? <laughs> mm, no, thank you. Amanda. No, thank you. Duh. No, and, and the fact that... No offense to Amanda's out there. Yeah. The fact that it's suggested that the gentleman be blindfolded while this is happening, <laughs> I don't know yeah. if I could get down with that. I, I don't know. But while what I know, you're saying yeah, is... Nor- normally, if she asks you to be blindfolded, when you take that off, you're going to be robbed blind. Exactly. Your fucking TV's going to be Well, awesome. like she said in the video, though, if, uh, you, if you know you're going to get a, a some head... Some hair. <laughs> You'll put the blindfold on yourself. <laughs> but I might be a little this bit reluctant true. reluctant to do that because I don't know who's going to be doing this. I don't... Uh... Yeah. Because it could it could be a man. Yeah. Then. I well, mean, basically... Fruit fetishes are uh, apparently the uh, biggest craze right from now. From what I've seen on there, you put a grapefruit in warm water, let it yeah. warm up, you roll it, cut off the ends... And then you have to cut a circle into the grapefruit that's the size of your dick. You know, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I, what about apple pie? Is that, is that not the cool thing anymore? I guess not. There's, there is the I danger think, of burning yourself. Maybe there's too much pie, effort. Though, well, you just put that in the warm water. Yeah. Well, I mean, could you imagine a woman with a whole apple pie in her hand? Trying to jerk you off and suck you, uh, suck you off at the same time. I, I mean, it would be a mess. The whole fucking pie would fall apart well, in your hands. This, this apparatus. You'd have, say, you'd have to save a slice for yeah. afterwards for a snack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, not, not after you've used it. Oh. You have to take that slice before you use yes. it. Yeah, here, honey, I have some whipped cream to go on top of that apple pie for you. But for this special thing, like, it's like a tool. It's not like you're not fucking a pie. You're using the grapefruit. A, there, like a, there's there's children starving all over the world. We're fucking food. people want to use and, grapefruits to fuck each other. People are using grapefruits as sex objects. Yeah, yeah. and then afterwards you have a grapefruit cocktail. So after after all this, after you uh, you know cut the grapefruit and you blindfold your man, uh, you know we'll let we'll let Angie the the video uh, lady in the video explain. Video host. A little freakier. I want to suck your dick 
blindfolded. Your man will blindfold himself if he knows he's going to get some head. So now, your man is in the bed. You have the grapefruit already prepared under the bed. He smelled the citrus in the air. He thinks you have on some new Victoria's Secrets or something. He has no idea. And what you're going to do is be a woman of your word. Now, you have to get his penis erect. So what you're going to do is just suck his dick. That's like you said you were going to do. <laughs> Once he's nice and erect, what you're going to do is replace the grapefruit from your mouth. You're going to twist up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Blake. <laughs> Fucking skank. <laughs> Blake. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Garbage disposal head. Yeah, like. <laughs> the, that was the worst sound you could ever make. Yeah, you, you, if you're getting head, you don't want to uh, imagine anything that resembles a garbage disposal. Or no. Daisy Duck giving Donald Duck head. Yeah, like, that was so awkward, like, I just could not imagine hearing that, even is even if the grapefruit feels really good. Blowjobs may be ruined for men for, forever. forever. That's tragic. Forever, Thanks, yeah. Angie. Thanks for ruining uh, our blowjobs. Thank and... you, grapefruiting. But hey, Even you know, I still want to be grapefruited. But hey, let us know if you've ever grapefruited before, and uh, if you I'm, guys, I'm sure some of you sick bastards have already. Done and this. if you guys listen to this and you guys want to try it, feel feel free to come to Bastard uh, Headquarters here. Um, most of you probably know where it's at. If not, send us a message and we'll give you directions. Yeah, we'll be providing this weekend grapefruits for anybody that would like to come and gra- get one. I bet some of you women have grapefruited before another man, and we will provide you with a grapefruit. Yeah, and a bowl of free uh, of charge. Exactly, and a bowl of uh, cream of wheat or uh, yes, your your choice of brand cereal and grapefruit cocktail afterwards. But you must provide your own blindfold, because according to her, that's necessary. Yeah, and uh, your own garbage disposal. Yeah, your own garbage disposal. Exactly. But yeah, we will be offering free grapefruits here. Uh, if anybody's interested, and a spoon. Know. Bring a spoon to eat afterwards. If you guys want to do it in my bathroom, you're more than welcome. Uh, Crazier things have happened in there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you'd like to take it home too, we would still like to hear about your crazy experience with the grapefruit, you know. And... So, speaking of sex, I heard that one of you has recently oh been uh, uh, taken by a lady who isn't quite who you thought she was on the internet. Oh my god, What was man. that? Because it wasn't me. Andy, do you know anything about this? Yeah, um, <clears throat> so basically we had a failed bit uh, I remember, for, I, the sh- for the show. and I, uh, I know what you're talking about. Chris, do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> for our viewers, uh, and a failed bit, you know, we were going to, the original thought was to get an escort, not not for anything like crazy like that, but uh, to interview. And we kind of looked at the logistics of it, and that's not we, not something we were gonna do. So we were just like, let's just get a normal girl. And uh, we went on Craigslist Casual Encounters, you know, and just kind of put it out there. Hey, you know, anybody want to, you know, be interviewed for our new podcast, The Bastard Show, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, no, no real bites, you know. We were trying to figure out what we could, you know, what the bit would even consist of. And uh, last week, I pretty it pretty much uh, broke my spirit on this whole bit, and kind of like, no, we're not even gonna fucking try it. What happened? <laughs> this girl, <clears throat> she posted on Casual Encounters, whatever you know. Very, very vague. A very vague one. But she looked alright and, you know, seemed like, you know, a, a decent person. So, mess- I messaged her. I'm like, you know, hey, you know, we are the Bastard Show. I did the whole spiel in the email. And 
she was like, well, you know, if we hang out, you're going to have to bring me flowers. I'm like, flowers? Like, what the fuck? Like, right. why Why would you need flowers? The Bachelor <laughs> Show would have to give her flowers. Yeah, the Bachelor Show would have to give her flowers to come and be interviewed on their show. A classy lady deserves flowers. Oh, well, yeah. Roses. So I, you know, I inquired about the flowers and she goes, well... The bat. Uh, why am I going to say the bastard show? Flowers are another word for money. <laughs> I'm like, oh. So it turns out that she was uh, not who she said she was. Who right. Thought she was. She was a lady of the night. A lady yes. Of the night, they call and she... Did she have red lipstick? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I would assume so. And she wanted seventy flowers. 70 flowers. And I, I responded, you know, it's we're, it's not that kind of casual encounter. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, like kind of like a casual friends meeting. Is yeah, it's like a casual like a, interview. Hey, 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 a handshake, maybe a drink or two. It, here's, yeah. Here's a bottle of water. Yeah, you know, maybe a monster and a smoke. Yeah. But, uh... Casual banter. So I, I replied with that, and... Nothing. She like didn't respond at all. And a couple days later, we got back on there, and uh, she had said, uh, posted another same girl, a very scathing uh, post on Facebook about she only wants serious, serious people to contact her, not internet podcasts. Apparently your inquiry wasn't serious enough for No, it wasn't serious enough because we did not want a prostitute. Right. No. Like, <laughs> no. That's, you know. No. We have uh, very few lines here at the uh, Bastard yeah. Show, but uh, <clears throat> inviting a known prostitute right. to uh, the studio. Now, is, I know you is, guys weren't behind it. A little, little bit past the line. Now, yeah. I know you guys weren't behind it, but the whole escort thing, I mean, that's a professional but if we wouldn't do an escort, like a professional girl, we're not going to do a prostitute. <laughs> like, even if, like, we just told her, oh, we're only going to, we'll, we'll give you 70 flowers. Yeah, just come interview. Why would we do that? Right. And, why, and she probably wouldn't do it. I'm and, not giving anyone any flowers. Yeah, we no. just want you to come on the show to talk. Yeah. So. Be a sidekick for You them. know, if you're, if by chance you're. You know, one of these people, male or female, on Craigslist, loosen up a little bit. Right. No, not everybody wants is a pervert and wants to uh, enjoy your body. That's correct. We uh just like to you know interview people. So that was my that was how I pissed off a prostitute last week, and uh, I can at least I can say I've pissed off a prostitute in my life. Right. Yeah. But we are yeah. the bastard show, so that's what we're known for is yeah. pissing people off and giving you guys uh funny bits and things yeah. like that. Yeah, so but you know, in other fucked up news, Chris, I know you got pretty uh heated about this. Uh Oh yeah. Apparently, um if you're racing horses, you can use no strips with them. First of all, why would you even race a horse? Who the hell gives a damn? And if you are going to race a horse, who the hell made a nose strip for the fucking horse? Breathe right. Who, who invented this? Like, is that is that a big business? Nose strips for fucking horses? Like, I just don't get, like, the physiology. I try, try not to use too big a terms here. But the physiology of a horse... Compared to a human, like, I, they, I'm they, i sure they're designed different, but can you imagine just a, a horse, the fucking, I, I didn't watch the Kentucky Derby, so I no, don't I, know, no, but no, the no, horse didn't. with the fucking nose white strip. nose strip on? Yeah. Well, my thought is, is if the horse can't race without having, you know, equipment to help it perform better, I mean, where, where are they going to draw the line, you know, on... Yeah. Other animals that, that need performance enhancement. So we're okay with the <clears throat> nasal strips for the horse, but we can't let Johnny Peralta use steroids? Right. Yeah. And, th- and there's no e- not even 
uh, proof that he used steroids. Exactly. This horse is all, actually all it was using is that he conversed with hearsay. a known uh, known steroid right. uh, dealer person. What are you gonna do from now on? They're gonna test the uh, horses before each race. I think, I think they do already. Some kind of oh, check their nasal yeah. passages, make sure uh, everything's right. Breaking news: Just <clears throat> this just in. Charlie the horse has been suspended for the next five races due to. Uh, Elevated levels of breathe right nasal strips found in his nostrils. I wonder if the horse snores at night. Probably. <laughs> yeah. But that's fucking... It has narcolepsy. Yeah. That's... <laughs> like, that sounds like the most pretentious thing you could ever go out and buy. Yeah, you know, I gotta go out and <clears throat> buy some bread, some milk, some eggs. Oh, I gotta get a uh, fucking California chrome... Uh, his his breathe right strips. Yeah, I got to go to the veterinarian and uh, grab those real quick. And why why do all the horses have dumb names? California Chrome Here. sounds like a, a web browser. It does. We discussed this when you were ill. When you were ill, <laughs> yeah, on the last uh, couple of shows ago. Yeah, yeah. But feel, but I mean, you can you can uh, chime in. On, chime on in. Your, on uh, that. Oh no, no, no! I wouldn't want to <laughs> repeat old news. Old old news, old business. Yeah, old business. Old business. All right. Well, new business. Anything uh, you guys are heated about? You know, I I wanted to bring up something. This whole fucking I know maybe it's getting a little bit old, but this whole fucking Pharrell happy song, this oh, fucking yeah. Frozen oh. song. The stuff about letting it go, let letting it go. it go. Let it go. I don't even let it go. I've never let the song. song go. Let the song go. I've never heard the song once. I've 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 heard I've heard it. But you mean to tell me that a group of people can sing basically karaoke to Pharrell's Happy, and somebody like Ellen DeGeneres is going to give you a check for fifty thousand dollars for some what? random fucking reason? Because you posted some dumbass video about Pharrell and Happy. So, yeah. so you mean to tell me the Bastard Show tonight can post a video singing along to Pharrell's Happy and some company or some host of some TV show is going to give us a check next week for $50,000? I'm all fucking for it. Would you, would you guys be yeah, up for it? I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll do sing it. a damn song for, I'll do it. for but 50 grand. Let's not do Pharrell's Happy. Tonight, we're going to record a special song. Maybe we'll do it another time. Maybe we should do something like well, Crash Test Dummies, well, dummies want, or yes. something like that. Crash I want, Test Dummies. I want to get the 50 grand, though, so we can do the happy in our own version, the Bastard Show remix. Right. And uh, then maybe we can hold our own contest, see who can do the best version of a song of our choice. You know, maybe a Santana Smooth or... Uh, Enrique Iglesias, you know, something, yeah. Crash Test Dummies, you know, yeah, even. Crash Test Dummies, yeah. Like, uh, I think that would be fun, but, uh, yeah, fuck it, we're gonna record it, we're gonna see how bad we can make it sound, and, uh, how, re- show how stupid this, uh, this, this phenomenon, is. phenomenon, maybe, maybe we'll sing Let It Go, too. Let It Go. The Bastard Show version of Let It, Let it Go. Yeah. Now, do you guys want to do, like, People... video, or just audio? I don't know, but I think once we do it, maybe America will get the hint that you really need to Stop. let it go. <laughs> let yeah, it go. Pe- people seem to take a, a decent song and overplay it and overplay it and overplay it so right. much until it, it it's a hated song. Like that uh, uh, Celine Dion song from Titanic oh that everyone hated. And then that Aerosmith song from... Close um, my eyes. From Armageddon or yeah. whatever it was, yeah. and it's like you take these these songs and you just abuse the shit out of them to the point where everybody wants to stab pencils in their ears because that's more pleasant than listening to the fucking song one more time. Right, it, and this whole that "Let It Go" song, I don't know if you guys have heard it. I haven't. But the woman who sings it, her voice sounds hideous. So what the fuck is the big deal with this song? Don't aren't like celebrities like professional like like musicians like covering the song and putting it on YouTube and shit? Like, I guess. I don't know. Like has Demi Lovato done it? Yet? I don't know, but you know, you get these uh fifteen, sixteen year old bastards on here singing the song and they're getting fucking Let record contracts. Go. Like you mean to tell me that I can go on YouTube now and do anything the fuck I want and I'm gonna so, have a contract for something two oh. weeks from now? Isn't that how Justin Bieber got started? Yeah. 
Well, Usher's a fucking idiot, though, so... So that's... we're calling all you record executives out there, TV producers, TV hosts, we're going to do something special for you guys. And guess what? We hope you guys sign us. Because apparently that's how talent is found now, yes, we are, is on YouTube. We are a trio. We can't harmonize for shit. That's right. But but somebody can use us somewhere. But for 50 grand, we'll try. But we'll we sure try. will for 50 grand. You know, we won't be like McCartney and Lennon and no, Harrison harmonizing. Not. Right. But pretty damn close, I think. Right? I think so. <laughs> yeah. So We definitely can turn a few heads if we try. So, hey, do you guys want to talk about the Detroit Tigers and their MC Hammer pants? No. no. <laughs> that was the <laughs> that was the reaction. You guys were kind of looking at each other, and I'm like, nah, no. no. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. It's it's an odd story. You know, they fucking wore uh, tiger print clothing. It's basically going to be a trend End for two story. weeks, and it's going to stop. Yeah. You think anybody's going to really go out? Well, and trust me, we love our tigers. But do you think anybody's really going to go out? Somebody uh, somebody's going oh, to yeah. Oh, yeah. buy some Zubas and then a, a year from now be like, oh, yeah, look at my Zubas. I paid $50. Somebody's going to be like, what the fuck I'm do you depressed. have these in your closet for? Well, uh, it was people are going to be definitely wearing yeah. them to the uh, game. Yeah, the bandwagon. Oh, God, that's that's yeah. going to be disastrous yeah. to see. And just want to let everybody know that the Bastard Show will be invading Comerica Park on July 6th with the Yes Movement. Yes. 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 Hey, did you guys see the story about the fucking 35-year-old broad that was posing as a 15-year-old girl? I heard. I did that. hear about this. Oh, my God. Bastard of the week. Bastard uh, of the week, for sure. She, she's a, a big, big girl. Big old black girl. And she... Like does herself does herself up or whatever, and she kind of does look like a fifteen year old girl, and she like moved in with the family for months and months and months and went to high school. What the fuck? When I was going to school, I couldn't wait to be done with it. Right. So like, I, I did not want to go to school anymore. I just right. wanted to she, she go on with my life. Live the glory days, like. Right. Because the articles have said nothing about any mon- mental illness or anything like that. But she had you know? to have had some sort of mental illness to try to pull that. Norm- I mean, normal people don't do that. How did, how did she get away with it for so fucking long? Did, you not, did these people not notice anything different or weird? I mean, did she? I would assume she got dropped off by somebody every day. Apparently, she just showed up at, these, at this couple's house. Like, <laughs> oh, my, my mom's. My mom's like dead. My dad abused me or some shit, and they took her in, no questions asked. Got her in school. I don't know how she didn't have any my, documentation. Or my anything. first call would be to uh, child protective services. Yeah. Hey, this this abused kid showed up at my door. She kind of looks like a thirty five year old woman. I think she's been heavily abused. But uh, can you uh, come down? But I just it it made me think. If you could go back to high school, like, right now, like, you know, nobody, everybody would think you're a 16, 17-year-old person. I don't know. For think... three months, would you do it just to fucking see what happens? What, would I have the knowledge that I have now? No, it is you. It's the same situation. Oh, so basically, would, I, would I go back in time for three months? No, 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 no. It's like fucking 21 Jump Street. You're in high school today. Right. You today, this person I'm looking at right now. No, because I've got better stuff to do. What do you mean you got better stuff to do? You have nothing to do. Sleep in? <laughs> I don't think I can do it. But see, you have no obligation in high school, so you can just show up like third hour and like twelve o'clock in the afternoon, and, like just roll in. You'd be the coolest kid in school. <laughs> Be the coolest adult in school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that, I don't think there's any real reason why to do that. Obviously, she had something funny going on because I maybe, I just don't get it. Maybe she just wanted to see what she could get away with. You think she asked mm-hmm. anybody to prom? <laughs> <laughs> Will you go to prom with me? Yeah, that now just imagine if this story progressed even further, man. That would have just been so 
fucked up. Well, I think I think when she got caught is because she tried to transfer schools. Something like that. Uh, like I didn't really. Probably like I never attention. heard of this girl. Who is this? Well, yeah, they they thought that something sounded weird, so they looked into it and couldn't oh, find any she's... records of her anywhere. Wait. Well, wait how did the sec. first school let her get in without any records? But it's like, wait like a sec. It. Hold on. You're not 15. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdo. Weirdos, Why do you man. look different from the other girls in the shower after gym class? <laughs> Why does it look like you have marks on your stomach as if you had eight kids already? I know. <laughs> Oh, the, no, no, that's, uh, scars from my abusive dad. Oh, yeah. we have, we found out on record that you've got four of your children taken away, and you just had another. <laughs> oh, man, I, I don't, I don't know, and no. And maybe getting that one taken away as well. No, 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 uh, I just wanted to, uh, get my education better, and, uh... We've just found out you have eight credit cards. How does that happen if you're 15? Uh, <laughs> yeah. why don't you just go to community college? Exactly. I mean, yeah, you could have, you could have gone there legally. You probably, exactly. could, probably could have gone there for free, legally. Well, they don't have any problems at colleges, so apparently she. Uh, yeah, maybe that was their end game, down. and that was like you know. I mean, I want to go to prom. She was gonna go. She was gonna keep going to high school until she got asked to prom. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe that's... she was writing a uh, an article like that uh, that Drew Barrymore movie. When, didn't she go back to school or whatever? Yeah, uh, man. Yeah. She was a journalist. Drew Barrymore fucking sucks. Now let me tell you something else. That new movie that's coming out with Adam Sandler, that's going to be a total fucking flop. You had to bring them back together at the 51st dates because it was so, Good. so successful, which I have an, at home actually and I've probably seen four times. Uh, and reunite them to see if they can make a better movie, which a- isn't going to happen. Adam Sandler hasn't made a good movie in a long time. Yeah, he, and he keeps... Putting stuff out there because he owns a production company. He's like the producer, the actor, and all of his asshole uh, co-stars go along with it. Right. Like Hollywood, you know, because he he's not self-funding his movies. Somebody's funding these movies. Right. Stop. Right. Just stop. Tell him no. He always well, says they, they said they said a couple uh, months ago they said that he was the most overrated actor. In, yeah. in Hollywood. Yeah, as far as because, being I mean, paid to his reviews of his movies, yeah. Yeah, let me call up uh, Steve Buscemi and let's call up uh, Rob Schneider and see what he's doing. And let's they get them in my movie too. because it'll really help out my uh, Kevin my James. Yeah. Let's bring in Kevin David James. David Spade. David Spade, Chris Rock. David Spade has to be the worst actor now, in the history of, of the world. I do like Joe Dirt. There is always a special place in my heart for that movie. I like Black Sheep. Jo- or not Black Dierte. Sheep. Tommy Boy. Jo- Tommy Dierte. Boy was good. But let's bring in a group of overrated comedic actors and put them in on an overrated, not so funny comedy. Yeah, they they, they should have got someone like uh, Nick Swardson, um, maybe uh, C. Amy, C. Amy Schumer, Zach you know, Louis C.K. would be great. You know, like actual funny people. Yeah. But who wants to see... Daniel Tosh. <laughs> right. But who is really funny anymore? I mean, at, at the I end of the day... I told you three people. I know, but at the end of the day, when it comes to movies, these guys are writing their shit for these guys to, to do and act in these movies. So what about, who really is funny? Anymore? What about Bob Saget? Bob Saget's funny. Bob Saget will always be funny. What about Dave Coulier? Dave Coulier, not funny. Not funny. D- did, didn't... Uh, didn't you try to friend request him, Tim? And I sent him he, a friend he request. You rejected your yes, friend request? Yes, you remember this. We went to go see him <laughs> at a comedy show at Joey, Joey's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak, actually, by the way. Joey's Comedy Castle, whoever's running that page. If you see us, like us on Facebook. Anyway, we went to go see a Dave Coulier show a few years back. And I said, what the hell? I'm going to send this guy a friend request. He seems like a nice guy. He's always showing up on the local TV news channels. He yeah. seems like a nice guy. Send him a friend request saying... I sent him a message, too, saying, really excited to see your show tonight, you know. If you see us, you know, say hello or whatever. Send him a friend request. Fucking denied ten minutes later. <laughs> nice. I wanted to fucking throw tomatoes at his ass during the show. You should have uh, brought a boombox. Yeah. If they, if they even make those still. Yeah, we should have played and the Full House theme song. No, you should have played da, 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 uh, da, 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 da. Alanis Morissette. You ought to know. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would have really grinded his gears. Ironically enough, 
Dave Coulier was funnier than Bob Saget. On the show. No, in real life. On stand up. Oh really? Yeah. That's odd. All I Bob, would not think all that. Bob at Saget all. does is swear and and say, Oh, I fucked Kimmy Gibbler. <laughs> like like and you're just in shock because Danny Tanner, this wholesome this wholesome Guy. family man, is dropping all these F bombs and swearing and talking dirty. Right. And it's more shock value than comedy. When will John Stamos finally do stand up comedy? I know. Instead he's, of yogurt commercials. He's handsome. He's a handsome man. John Stamos, if you're listening to this somewhere on YouTube, Facebook, whatever, like us on Facebook. Yeah. Ha- you know. Have uh, Charlie Sheen write you a comedy routine and then yeah. go, go do yeah. it. Yeah. Come, come to the show. Come to the Bastard Show Studios in town here and uh, do a show with us. You yeah, have three yeah. customers right here. We'll sing the Beach Boys with you, Kokomo. Yeah. You know, in that music video, he was playing the drums, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 We'll have all the Greek yogurt you can eat. I actually yeah. thought all he was Chobani. the drummer for uh, the Beach Boys at one time. Like, look, it's Uncle Jesse on TV. Yeah, He's playing the bongos. <laughs> was he nude? No. Matthew McConaughey style? <laughs> no. <laughs> you mean Matthew McConaughey AIDS style? I, or I Matthew... thought that was the only way to play bongos. Oh, I don't know. I, I couldn't I, tell you. I thought it was like a prereq that you oh, had to I be guess, nude. I don't know. Maybe in some countries or cultures or songs or... I think Matthew McConaughey has his own culture. Oh, yeah. Apparently, uh, the culture he's in... Uh, Involves not using deodorant or showering. Oh, I, I hear he is the dirtiest, smelliest. And I'm sure women don't to... give a shit. Oh, I'm sure they do. It's like, fucking who, Matthew this, McConaughey. Who's this guy that smells like ass sitting he's a next to me? God, I didn't oh. put any deodorant on. He's all an right, actor. all right. Did you? Did you? Yeah, I was uh, getting ready for uh, going out tonight, and uh, I really didn't think I needed to take a shower. All right, all right. Put on deodorant or anything. I, uh... Same thing with Johnny Depp. I hear he doesn't like to shower either. You know, maybe Brad Pitt doesn't like to either. You know, Brad Pitt, and Matthew McConaughey are neighbors. Brad Pitt well, likes I, to. I uh, Brad Pitt likes to be married to a woman who doesn't have any tits either. So. Well, she has tits now. Oh, she did. She, she has back? like she's got like whatever they are. Oh, a gigantic padded bra. No, they're like actual tits. Oh, she got implants. Yeah, they look good. Oh. Great. Angelina Jolie, I want to feel on your boobs. Your hey, fake ones. You, you, gotta, you gotta respect her. She's she, yeah, she, known she, for she's her titties. She's a, she's she's a, she's a mother now. Them. She's uh, a mother now. Well, I guess her children will be starving. Well, we'll pour, we'll pour one out for those beautiful <laughs> tits on Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Pour one out for our dead homies. Right. And, uh, yeah, I think that about wraps it up for the week. Uh, you know, like always, you can like us on Facebook. Uh Hit the little button down there. It says subscribe. On Therefore, yeah. you don't have to wait for Facebook to update. Right. If like the so for some reason, like last week, the video doesn't. You know, I don't post it on Facebook until the next day. You already have it. You already have watched it. And follow us you know, on Twitter at the Bastard Show and all that great stuff, uh, guys. I think and on a you know new business, uh, final business here. I think we did get our fortieth like. I think we there did. was a couple at once, but one of them I went to high school with, and you know he's a local. So technically, they won the contest. So I think that he would win the contest. So well, contact them and uh, get their address. And, yeah, send us your address, and, and we'll uh, get, yes. you'll get your prize. But for, the problem, for, for the I'll next, spare you. I'll, next, I'll next spare episode, you. I'll bring over the uh, the product. I'll find yeah, it. you yeah. know I don't want to say your name on the podcast. I don't know if you're comfortable with that, but uh, you know, Mister TD, those are your initials. You know. Just Ted Danson. Look. Ted Danson, give Tell us a Danza. give a, send us a Facebook message if you've uh, listened and if you're interested in collecting your prize, we'll find a way to get it to you. And uh, hey, don't forget you got to post your results. Yeah, you got to post the results. It's like a little contest that we do. So, uh, but I think you'll enjoy the prize. And um, yeah, just let us know. And uh, it was a pleasure talking to you guys today. A uh, pleasure. Please don't show up my, at my house this weekend. I will not have free grapefruit. An I absolute lied. pleasure. Uh, not not this weekend. Anyway. Great grapefruits are not cheap. Right? Are they? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I don't think I've ever bought one. I think they're like medium price fruits. So if you really want a grapefruit, go buy your own fucking grapefruit. Well, uh, according to Bring the commercial, you can wear you can use your own uh, large oranges too. Large navel oranges. <laughs> she said. Oranges. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, go buy your own fucking grapefruit. 
As for the Bastard Show, I'm Andy. This is Tim. I'm Chris. Get fucked.